So now we are ready to take a deeper dive into Star UML. And in preparation for the demo, I'd like to introduce a case study for you. So if you look into assignment one in your course book, it's the one with the TNA, the National Airlines Flight Reservation System. If you take a look at that case study, that is the one intended for coming up with the use cases and actors for a system. Review the case study thoroughly, perhaps a couple of times. As you go through then, jot down all the actors and use case names that you come across. Here are a couple of pointers for you to keep in mind as you review the case study. To ensure that you get as many use cases and actors possible, keep these two things in mind. One, for every actor that you have identified, ensure that the actor is associated to one or more use cases in the model. And similarly, for every use case that you have, ensure that it has an association with one or more actors involved. And remember that the actors can be primary actors that trigger the use cases or secondary actors that might receive some information or serve as a service to another use case. Secondly, think through the entire process end to end, right from the time of making a reservation until the time the reservation is consumed, which means the travel has happened, ensure that there are no missing pieces altogether. For example, if you have a rewards program, ensure that the entire process is covered from the time that you're enrolling for the rewards program, accumulating your reward points, redeeming the reward points. So make sure that every process is handled end to end. Now the case study itself is intended to be a guideline for you to come up with a reasonably solid model. However, it's not that detailed enough for you to have every little minor detail. And this might be the case in the real world as well. If you don't have much of a detail, make assumptions, ensure that you document them. And the next time you meet with your stakeholders, you can get those assumptions validated. And if you went wrong with any of the assumptions, you can always go back to the UML model and make adjustments to it. So as you come up with a list of actors and use cases, make any assumptions that you need to in order to support the direction you're taking with your use case model. And keep in mind that there's no one right solution to this kind of a problem because depending on the level of granularity or how you structure the relationship between use cases, you could have 10 use cases, you could have 30 use cases. It really depends on the approach that you're taking and the level of detail you get into within each use case. So make your best guess and come up with the use case model that you think is reasonable for this problem. And in a forthcoming video, we'll discuss the entire use case model alongside Learning Star UML, and we'll validate responses based on a few answers that I have gathered over the past with the live classes. So you'll get an idea about what not to do as well as best practices on how to achieve this. So use that as a basic guideline, make any assumptions, come up with a list of actors and use cases, and we'll see you in the next video where we will delve into Star UML and validate the responses that we have in hand.